Pocahontas is April shall ties. Many people know that Pocahontas is a princess, but did you know that Sacagawea is also a princess, a Shoshone princess, Native American royalty? Her brother was a chieftain who helped the Lewis and Clark expedition because she was part of it, and pregnant with her first child, Sacagawea was born in May of 1788 in Lemhi River Valley, near Salmon, Idaho. As an interpreter and guide, she is the secret to Lewis and Clark's success in securing western lands after the Louisiana Purchase. As they neared the Columbia River on the Pacific coast, Sacagawea even had to give up her beaded belt in trade for a fur robe Lewis and Clark wished to give to President Thomas Jefferson. Besides this, she saved their lives more than once, and was never paid for her services. But how did Sacagawea end up in the expedition in the first place? Reports say that at age 12 Sacagawea was captured in a raid, in which several Shoshone were killed, a raid attributed to a rival tribe. But the fact is, she ended up with a trapper, who ended up being a guide for the Lewis and Clark expedition. And she had two children, both of whom were adopted by Clark at her death at the young age of 24. Could Sacagawea have been secured by Clark through third parties, as a useful acquisition, whom he considered more or less a slave? Sacagawea was essential to the expedition's success, and yet she was never paid for her valuable assistance. This is not surprising, given the fact that Clark was known to be a slave owner, and cruel to his slaves. Did Clark consider Sacagawea to be a slave, and did he actually own her? Clark adopted Sacagawea's two children, were they really his, was Clark the real father, it's quite likely, did Sacagawea know they would consider her first baby, her son, an inconvenience, and so she hid her pregnancy, until the pregnancy was discovered, was the birth premature, on February 11, 1805, because they administered crushed rattlesnake rattles in water to her, to get her to abort the child, that also seems likely, the child survived, though. Clark himself did well for himself after the expedition, but his partner, Lewis, did not. Lewis reportedly committed suicide, and for many years Clark alone got credit for the expedition's success. Did Clark have Lewis killed? Did he arrange to obtain a Native American woman with the Shoshone royal bloodline to be in the party, so he could claim the success she brought the expedition? Sacagawea, the forgotten Shoshone princess, is another story of a Native American who helped the white man, and was repaid with evil for good. The scriptures say, Surely in vain have I kept all that this fellow hath in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that pertained unto him, and he hath requited me evil for good. So and more also do God unto the enemies of David, if I leave of all that pertain to him by the morning light. This is April Shall Ties. Native America is a covenant land, given by the Lord to his covenant people for a perpetual possession. The forgotten genocide of Native Americans on the American continent was not forgotten by God, was, not, forgotten, by, God. This is April Shall Ties, using the computer to generate this message. Native Americans were given these lands by covenant from the Lord. They were invaded by Rome, which had already taken over Europe. Extermination orders were put out on Native Americans. The United States murdered indigenous peoples for gain. This is Rome. Rome is into conquest and killing. My two brothers are dead and so is my niece. They came after me, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason, but I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, so they are calling me a botched kill and they want to finish the job. This is April shall ties, and I want to live. Not die for any reason, for a thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand. But it shall not come nigh me. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget. Never. The scriptures say, The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. 
Atulua, near Eureka, on Indian Island in Humboldt County, California, hundreds of Native Americans were massacred. On February 26, 1860, coordinated attacks began at about 6 a.m. on the unsuspecting indigenous peoples. It was coordinated murder of the Wiyat people. White settlers in this California area murdered more than 250 Wiyat people. The settlers attacked with weapons, including guns, axes, and knives. Immediately after February 26, more bloody attacks were carried out on other Wiyat villages that same week. It was coordinated genocide. In California, there's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered, on their native lands. It was genocide. Never, never forget. We need justice. Return these lands to the Native American tribes. All of them.